What do you like that wine approval? Pet treat launcher, really? Or you could just throw it, but it is from Sharper Image. <laughs> These are all 20% off this week. Well, good afternoon. Hello, Muski. Um, so as you saw, we were at um, Ocean State. We had some staples to pick up. I used some coupons. So it was 81 down to 74. We got some staples that we were missing. I picked up the chili powder. I got some sushi rice. Sorry if I aim at that, that would be better. Sushi rice, um, no sugar, no salt added. Rice wine vinegar. What else did we get? I got some noodle bowls for myself for lunch. They were 75 cents each. Pretty fabulous. I'll probably have that over the course of the next couple of weeks. Some flatbread croutons, a natural rosewood crochet hook. So yeah, I'll share when we get home. But uh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's in the mid 50s, I think. It's beautiful. We just have Mushki with us because Chester was tuckered out this morning from uh, playing. And um, Moses, well, you know Moses, our special little dog, didn't want to come along. Mommy's thirsty. Hi, Mushki. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You have some atrocious breath, girly. You need to, you need to brush. Right, Mush? Where's Daddy? The Daddy? So um, we got some, I, the only thing I could not find that was on my list was uh, malt vinegar. But I did catch some really funky flavored um, syrups, including lemon and white truffle. I didn't get those, because right now I'm all set. I'm just going to experiment with the things that I have. And actually, the one thing I keep forgetting to mention, when we do grocery shopping, I try to pick up one splurge item, like butter or a uh, little caviar you know kind of a um because off it offsets all the savings that we realize from shopping smart and not letting leftovers go to waste so um we didn't have breakfast this morning but i think tomorrow i'm gonna make the frittata for brunch from the leftover taco meat and the meat pie mixture Perfect. All I have to do is whip up some eggs, add a little bit of water or milk, depending on what I feel like, and put it all in a pan and put it in the oven. Let it rise and get yummy, and then we'll slice it into like pie wedges and have it with some toast. Right, Mushki? Some toast. She's like, what? Mommy, what are you talking about toast? I don't need toast. So I might have to convince Polly to take me to go get a drink. What? He's investigating something. I got some of those Velcro ties for our tomatoes, and there was two. It was two dollars for the package. I tried to save them year to year, but you know, new fresh pack would be nice too, right? <gasps> Here comes Daddy. Here comes Daddy. All right, we're off to the next stop. Mood lighting and salmon and shrimp mm. veggies. That butter is delicious. Mm. It's a compound butter. I think there's some parsley and oranges in it. Ginger. Ginger. Really tasty. So we're in the drive-thru for McDonald's because Polly wants an ice cream cone. He has a toothache, so he thought I might help him. Polly, your ice cream's up. <laughs> Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Come on, change. See how much it is. 94 cents. 
fifty. That's not ninety-four. That's uh, fifty, sixty, seventy-six cents. How how does this man count? Watch out. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're told how much changes. Yeah. So go. You're gonna drive all the way through. Huh? Okay. Wow, so it's supposed to be 90, where's your receipt? Yeah, give me one. Oh, because you said you didn't want a receipt. Oh, 94 cents. I know, he said 94 cents, but that's clearly two quarters, which is 50, two dimes, which is 70, a nickel, which is 75, and a penny. That's 76 cents, not 94. Wow. Way to go, youth of America. We got our missing 18 cents. Oh my god, that was too funny. Oh, it's 60 degrees. Oh my gosh, I love it. Windows open. Pussy willows. Pussy willows in bloom. Oh. Trying to. Lilacs. Lilacs? Almost, not quite. So, Polly's getting his eating his ice cream. Hopefully, that'll help his tooth. Oh, McDonald's, you're too funny. It's not the whole McDonald's, it's the one in one, one kid. Love having the windows open. Mushki's enjoying it, she's in the back. And uh, the two boys are at home because Chester got tuckered out this morning. He was playing with Chuck while Polly was cleaning the poo off the lawn. And Moses doesn't ordinarily want to go if Chester's not going. So he's just like, oh, I stay home. So we just had a lovely lunch. Uh, I have to close my window. Yeah, yeah, we had a really lovely lunch. Uh, total pleasant surprise. We decided to go to Outback. We haven't been there in quite some time, actually. And I think it's nice when you give uh, uh, places a nice break because then you kind of you you get you're over it. You know, like too much of a good thing. And uh, we had a nice server. We sat at the bar. Um, I had the appetizer shrimp, the bar menu, that just comes with four shrimp. I showed earlier and it's four bucks I mean and I had ginger ale because I was super thirsty uh, then Polly uh, ordered an entree that we split which was the uh, uh, stop Polly honey uh, um, which was salmon Pacific Rim salmon, Pacific Rim salmon and, shrimp. and shrimp with a flavored butter which had ginger um, was it cilantro or parsley? I think it was cilantro. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tried to ignore it. It was good though. It was good. Um, so the, it's quite tasty, but initially the shrimp came out cold. So they brought us a whole new plate of shrimp with cherry tomatoes, with roasted cherry tomatoes, which was quite tasty. And the vegetables good. were very tasty too. They weren't over boiled because I can't stand vegetables that are, don't have a, a little crunch to them. So all in all, a lovely late lunch, early supper. We probably oh, it's won't eat. Oh, firecracker! Oh, firecracker! Pacific uh, Rim firecracker yeah. butter. Is that what that was? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. So that was really tasty. So we had a nice snack. We're full, and on our way back to the house. Hopefully, there's some eggies in in the coop from the chickens. Winnie Cooper. Winnie Cooper. <laughs> Oh, and Polly had an inside joke as we pulled up to the McDonald's window. Oh, did you just bite your tongue? Uh, cold. cold, right on your tooth. Yeah, look how gorgeous it is outside. Honey, can you close your window so I'm not getting all the wind sounds? And the back windows are open too. Look how beautiful the sky is. This is what we've been waiting for, spring. 60 degrees, stuff growing. Exactly what we're waiting for. So we're gonna go back home and I will I share with you. More. Oh, okay. Did we have a scheduled adult nap? <laughs> um, I'll show you what we got at Ocean. 
state and um, check in on the girls, see if there's any eggies. So we'll see you in a few. Shamrock Shakey. Yum, yum, yum. Once a year. <laughs> So this is what happens when you try to pick up a box with one hand. Ah! Uh. As promised, this is our Ocean State shop. So let me start over here. I picked up four of these pie throwaway plates. For when I want to attempt making a pie again. And then a couple of these Reynolds fun shapes to make individual little um, fudge brownies for Easter. Onion and bacon beans, bean sprouts, the chili powder that we were almost out of, straw mushrooms, coho salmon, some teas. I found some Darjeeling I'm going to try. Pure peppermint and peach. And some of this Velcro strip for our plant ties. It's only $2 and at the uh, other local places like our um, hardware store. <laughs> It's like $6.99, so two bucks is always better, and it's a Velcro brand. Some of these uh, stakes into the ground for when I put the tarp paper or the tarp paper between the raised beds this year. Some nail polish in this, let's see, fuchsia. I don't even know what brand this is. Sushi rice, so you know what's coming. <laughs> Some stickers for our tag sale we're going to have in the spring. E rosewood crochet hook some of these bon voyage lists travel lists checklists they're five by eight and a half 50 pages per checklist and i'll show those close up when i do my file effect stuff and then all the red mill bob's red mill were on sale 20 percent off so i picked up this ancient grain from um from egypt kamut try that uh, some pizza crust that's um gluten-free split peas because I'm going to be making split pea soup and this 13 bean soup. Look at how cool the mix looks. Then some rice wine vinegar which is sodium and sugar free. Some chili sauce, chili chicken sauce and then some um, yakisaba uh, noodles lunches and spicy chicken, uh, express Asian, a roast chicken and a teriyaki. Some flatbread vegetable flavor some arborio rice for risotto, roasted red peppers, and mild cherry peppers. And Polly got a pair of shorts and a polo shirt. Polo shirt was eight bucks and I think the shorts were like five. So that's our shop from Ocean State. I wanna go bust into the, one of these boxes and take a closer look to see what's in them. So let's go to my office so I can plug my camera into. My battery is running out really, really fast these days. Um, I think I might need to replace the battery. Alright, better view hopefully. This is the rosewood crochet hook. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and it is five and a half from Simplicity Creative Group. Simplicity.com, made in India. And I haven't crocheted in a while, which I'm not sure why. We had such a cold winter, it would have been perfect for crocheting, but I didn't. There were quite a few of them, but they all look like they had a little, um, it wasn't like the hook wasn't finished. This is the one that ha looked like it had the least issues with it. Because some of them had visible splinters, which as for those of you who do crochet know, was a oh, really pretty. Feels nice in your hand. Um, it's from Boyle, and it was two dollars. This is uh, size I, five point five millimeter. So I have some. I'll put it in my crochet hook package, and then these are the um, stickers for tag sale that we're definitely gonna have, probably in May. I want to say, yeah, maybe third weekend in May. Get everything ready. 
So this, these are all pre-labeled and there's 392 and they were uh, with a coupon 50 cents each and these are, um, uh, you know, um, ones you could fill out yourself, three, three quarter inch um, circles. So that was a good deal, 50 cents for, um, for each one. And then this is what I wanted to really look at closer. So this has five packs no, four packs of Essentials Checklist as you pack what you need. Bon Voyage, Road Trip, Pack This, Off to Camp. Over $32 of sold separately and uh, it was 75 cents. So let's see. Actually, I kind of like the box. It's a nice, sturdy, look at this robin's egg blue box. Ascension's checklist. Four or five by eight and a half, 50 page checklists. Well, I'm not going off to camp, but ugh, I might give those to my sister. Bon voyage. So, destination, big day, date of return. Way in advance, the categories are bl blocked off in little groups. Get vacation days approved. Okay, that seems reasonable. Research destination, plan an itinerary, make, re make reservations, research passport driver's license, or renew passport driver's license. Obtain visas, I would need a visa wherever I go. Get vaccinations, arrange for children, purchase travel accessories. Uh, arrange for chickens, I could cross that off and put chickens. Two weeks before, arrange pet care, arrange garden care, arrange home care, have car serviced, fill prescriptions. One week before, arrange for mail deliveries to be picked up or stopped. Do dry cleaning. Who still has dry cleaning? Uh, well, I guess a lot, maybe a lot of people do. I have I try to stay away from purchasing clothing that needs to be dry cleaned because I feel like you're renting it. I mean, yes, you do wash all your clothes, but it always seems like so much more of a hassle to go to a dry cleaner or have it picked up or the cost. Um, orient sitter, caretaker, pay bills, manage accounts, alert credit cards of travel plans. Does anyone alert their credit card companies with their travel plans? I'll have to check the year this was printed. Get traveler's checks and or foreign currency, make packing list, begin packing. Wait, aren't these packing lists? So this packing list tells you to make a packing list. Day before, change recharge charge rechargeables, clean house, confirm reservations, check destination, set DVD VCR. Oh, this is so cute, VCR. Return movies, complete packing, update contact info on luggage, water plants, remove perishables from fridge, do dishes, take out trash. Day of departure. Adjust thermostats, shut windows, draw blinds, unplug power or surge sensitive appliances, make sure everything's off that can be off, set home alarm, lock doors and windows, close garage door. And then there's a blank spot where you can write stuff in for the 2014, you know, like, oh, I don't know, charge batteries, Wi-Fi. So there's 50 sheets in each one. So that was the Bon Voyage. This is the road trip. Stuck to the Wow, glued right in there. Oh, there's camping. So basic camp info, navigation, vehicle, and other and miscellaneous. Campsite sleeping, tools, food prep, cleanup, and food. Personal clothing, outerwear, footwear, and toiletries, accessories, and there's a couple of blanks. Trip to, date of departure. We actually do a lot of road trips, so some of them might be really useful. Or this could really make cool backgrounds for cards. <laughs> I would totally use this. It's a nice um, celadon green, like a celery green. All these colors are very pretty. This is like a periwinkle. So the basic camp info, travel guide, camp, well, here, I'll just, you can freeze, pause and look. Basic information, pet supplies, binoculars, camera, pack this. Trip to, date departure, date return, basics, travel info, documents, contact, technology, PDA and charger. This has to be from like 2003 or something. Camera chargers, film and memory media, music player, 
music and player headphones, voltage adapters, noise ca canceling headphones. I love mine and actually I think I may have shared them. I blinged out the, the headphones. Clothes, work clothes, casual, outerwear, footwear, accessories, toiletries. Traveling, so that's cool. And then last but not least is this, ooh, is it stuck in there? This is the off to camp, which kind of coincides with the other one had some camping stuff. This one has specifics on camp tent, duffel bag, sheets, pillowcases, blah, 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 camping, clothing, toiletries, recreation, emergency. Oh, we tried to find that emergency car kit that we wanted to get. There were $5 each or $5 a piece at um, Ocean State, but it seems like none of the employees really knew what we were talking about, so we ended up not getting them. Ow, ow, ow. Well, that was a very sharp, hard corner. I thought I could squish it. So these are pretty cool. I mean, I think they're worth 75 cents. I would totally do like a camping layout. You could do this. These would be great on the back of a 12, you know, as a background in a 12 by 12 layout for um, trips, road trip, camp trip over there so not too shabby 75 cents worth of background papers and then this is the nail polish that I got eh. I probably would have gotten more but to be honest I have so much nail polish and ironically as I walked into the house I grabbed that box I grabbed um, boxes at the front door with one hand while I had something else in the hand and sm totally obliterated this thumbnail so yeah skin's exposed that hasn't been exposed in over a decade so this nail polish was a dollar fifty who is this from hard to tell something lamb uh, oh Mila Milani nail liquor lacquer not liquor <laughs> Oh, do I need a nap? Yeah, and this one is 580 Fuchsia. And I have some base coats that are really cool. That would be uh, nice for them. So that's that's all we got at Ocean State. We kind of stuck to a budget this time. Picked up a couple of things. So the only thing I did not get is the malt vinegar, which is fine because I'll just it'll be on my on my list. I wonder how big the oh you know what there's a border here. I could totally punch some of these. And put that on my A5 file effects, the household one, at least when we travel. Because I, I do take that one with me. So I picked up an extra one just on the off chance I might have a little giveaway coming up soon. Maybe when I reach 6,000 subscribers. Give away some of my favorite things, which I kind of have a tendency to uh, want to do. I like sharing things that I uh, enjoy. Oh, and no, I think I did show the final card. So that's it for now. I might be back later. I might not. You'll find out soon enough. You know, the more I think about it, this box would make a great little shadow box to just throw out the, or recycle the plastic. Oh, I could probably cut that down too, because there's a flat surface on it. Just about A5 size. This would be great to put some shadow relief because it's easily like inch and a half, maybe two inches thick. It's a nice solid box. Probably take nicely to painting up just so in paint. So I don't think I'm going to toss this in the recycler. I'll definitely repurpose the flat surface of the um, plastic. And then, yeah. Oh, ideas whirling, whirling in my head. Probably seeking a nap, so I might craft in my office for a little while. Let me go download this footage and charge my camera, and then I might be back with some crafty things.